Yo, know, what's up, guys? We're back at it. We got to get this cleaned up, dude. Like, this paint. We got the trim done last time. Looking so much better. So we just got to go ahead and get the, the top of this back together. Uh, I'm going to work over here on the trunk. Because basically the whole top of this car got blasted. And uh, we'll sand the trunk, the roof, the hood. Basically the whole top of the car that just got blasted by the sun. And uh, get some paint and clear on it. So let's get back to work. All right, we're gonna start with disassembling of the trunk. Look at all that dirt and stuff that's built up of, let's see, what is this, 96, almost 30 years. Almost 30 years of dirt and grime back there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the trunk from the car just to make it easier to work on. Get it all cleaned up, so just soap and water. Soap, water, and a towel. And a toothbrush coming up just to get all the other stuff. Cleans up really nice. Get the emblems all cleaned up all the way down here with the toothbrush, soap, and water. I'm only going to paint in the top part of the trunk. The, uh, the back part of the trunk was fine. Just that top part of this whole car got blasted by the sun. And we're taking apart the, uh, the spoiler, getting all the dirt and debris vacuumed out of there soap and water wipe it down get it ready to prep busting out the old da sander we just did 400 grit um, sandpaper just trying to get all the rest of the clear off there i don't want to dig into the paint too much we are going to be repainting it but these layers of paint are so thin that uh, if you dig into them you can see like depressions from uh, one layer of paint is thinner than the other but uh, what I did, I'm sanding the uh, trunk right now, but as I'm making this video, I'm sanding the roof of the car and I started spraying it with water to keep this dust down because that's like the worst part of this whole thing is all this dust. I'm not, you can't see this in the video, but I'm actually wearing a respirator, goggles and uh, ear, ear protection the whole time because it is loud. My air compressor is, it. there you go. My air compressor compressor is in the garage too. So that makes it even louder. And the DA sander is just loud anyways. But also you don't want to be breathing in any dust. The paint dust clear is fucking nasty, dude. But uh, I'm spraying it down with water to keep that dust, uh, as you'll see in this video. In the next video where we paint the roof, uh, helps keep the dust under control, otherwise it just gets everywhere. Uh, the paint on the spoiler is super thin. We're going to primer quickly and even down to some fiberglass. There is, uh, I use these every time we paint. They're just a tack cloth. They're a super sticky, lint-free um, cloth that you can use a whole bunch. I'll uh, use this cloth. This is the same one we used on the trim. And then I'll put it back in a Ziploc bag to keep it till next time. If they last a long time. They can get a lot of debris. And usually by the time you use them anyways, it's already pretty clean. This is just get the last of any dust off. Throw it back in a Ziploc bag. You can probably see it right there by the paint gun up in the right corner of uh, this 3LM paint that's the paint color for the renaissance red that's the color of the car or the lexus paint code we're just mixing it up it's a one-to-one -one mixture get it ready to spray oh yeah look at that boom here we go see you can see like the, the different colors of the paint that's how deep uh, the layers of paint that we sanded through are and we're just going to start applying them and Sometimes on some of the ones that we went a little bit deeper into the paint, it took a little bit longer to cover up. So it takes a while to spray this out because you can't just spray it all at once. You got to do a layer, wait for it to flash off, do another layer, wait for it to flash off. This is what it looks like after we're done painting. All the base coat is down. We've done multiple layers. I don't know what I'm pointing at. Multiple layers and now we're ready to put some clear on and let it flash off and breathe. Then we're just going to mix up the clear. It's like a four to one, I think, is what the mixture on this one is. And I've got a different gun just for spraying clear out. But uh, this stuff takes time. This is obviously a very quick rendition of this. I took like all afternoon to spray out this trunk because, I mean, you basically do a layer, wait 15, 20 minutes, do a layer, wait 15, 20 minutes. 
Here we go. I'm gonna start laying some clear down. And then I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to the gun. Check it, looking all right. We're gonna adjust it one more time here. Just gotta be patient when doing this. Try to get the right spray panner. I am definitely a novice at painting, so don't beat me up too bad. But it turned out all right. Definitely a novice at painting, so. Like I said, we're just painting the top of the of the trunk. I don't want to do more work than I have to. So we'll just have a taped off where the spoiler is going to cover up our paint line. The uh, front side of the trunk was fine. And the top side is looking great after we're all done. So I'm just putting on some clear. Like I said, patient. Put a layer down. Wait for it to flash off and breathe. Get all the chemical smell, all that fumes, gases out of there put the next layer down probably about 15 20 minutes between layers and uh, this is after we've got all the clear down laid this is uh the next day or two days later uh, we're gonna wet sand everything 1500 on that actually probably 2000 1500 and 2000 on that da it uh hazes it all up as you can see but now we're gonna take out the buffer we're gonna buff it and it's going to take out all everything and just make it like a glass finish along with a polisher this also takes time too this is just a very short amount of time showing that's the final project you can see how flat and smooth that paint is you can see right into it i actually polished it more after this part too i spent an afternoon just polishing this uh, this trunk but it looking pretty good right there a little uh, little spot where we went too far in that was too thin. All right, boys and girls, this is the final. Hey, what are you saying? Look how good it looks. Now there is a few Hi. weird spray patterns that I got hey. in there. I'm not even sure why it turned out like that, but it turned out. Other than that, it's awesome. It buffed out really flat, shiny. Let's see right into it. Looking at the paint, I'm looking out. It's good. I don't know, I mean, we'll revisit this at some point, but we're done with the trunk right now. It's just gonna be what it is. And you can tell this had like a, had that black primer, but it actually kind of looks cool around the lip of it. It's a little bit darker. Yeah, I know. Um, so that's all done. We're gonna work over here next. So I think we're done with the trunk video. I'll catch you over here. Make sure to watch this video and put up right now because uh, we gotta fix this, because this is ridiculous. I think this will be the, the next big part to fix. Then we're gonna work on the front. So I'll catch you over there. Peace. This is what that trunk and spoiler looked like beforehand. It was pretty bad, pretty bad. Time, uh, came out pretty good though. There was like no clear on that spoiler. There's like no clear on the roof of this thing. Still some clear on the door. It's really just the top of this car got blasted. That door should buff out. The roof we are painting right now. I'm gonna actually go paint it after I get done editing this video. So make sure and hit that subscribe button. Links will be in the description for all this stuff as well. The supplies I'm using, all that stuff. There's the trim that we repainted. I actually probably need to buff that. That's what it looked like after paint. That's base coat right there, boys and girls. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to go paint the roof right now. Get that done. See that video very soon. Hit me up with questions, comments down below. Instagram at Bill Theory. And uh, I'll talk with you soon. Peace.